Okay, hey everybody, this is Kevin for Crackberry.com, and today we're going to unlock my new Blackberry Torch 9800. I've uh, yanked off the battery cover and the battery. It's got the AT&T SIM in there, so we're going to get that out. Which still is not a super easy process, but it's not bad. And I've got my Rogers SIM card. We're going to stick that in, put in the battery, and start up the device. Ah, go on. It's too much pressure with the camera. There we go. Let's come back in a minute. I'll wipe off that nice touch screen. And we'll show you just how easy it is to unlock a torch as long as you got an unlock code. Okay, so we've booted up the device. And uh, first thing you see, it pops up a menu right away, or uh, pop up. Your current SIM card requires an unlock code. Would you like to unlock it? The answer to that, yes. I guess I should tap it. And it prompts you to, to enter the uh, MEP network code. Maybe it's a MEP code. I honestly don't know. But we have the code. We'll be back in a second once I dig it up, and we'll type that in. Okay, so I've pulled up the unlock code on my Pearl 9100 over there, and we're going to type it in. It's a long one, but thankfully we have a slider with a nice keyboard on it. 557014435509215454. Try doing that on an iPhone. Enter. A new SIM has been detected in your device. Has this device changed owners, or are you using a new SIM? AT&T address book will be unavailable until the device is wiped. I uh, don't need to wipe. Some AT&T stuff there about using their address book. We're good to go. Done. Now, go turn on the mobile network. And we should be roaming on Rogers. New time zone detected. AT&T Rogers, and we have life. Bang. BlackBerry Torch 9800, running BlackBerry 6, in action. That's it. Crackberry.com.